one thing that you want to do is you want to definitely define the purpose of your content and of your audience. The purpose, you want to clearly define the purpose of your blog. What do you want them to achieve? Do you want to inform and attain, inspire, educate? What do you want to do? What exactly you want to do? In terms of your audience, identify your target audience. Understanding their needs and interests will guide your content creation. And you say, how can I do that? Ask questions. That's why social media is needed when you have a blog. You know, when you start getting traction and people leave comments and things like that. Or ask questions at the end of the blog post or within the blog content itself. Ask questions. Got to talk to people. However you need to communicate with them, ask questions. The second thing I'm going to talk about to create content for your blog, select a specific niche or topic for your blog. And what happens is this helps target a particular audience and establish yourself as an authority, obviously, in that particular niche. So you want to, you know, you want to make sure that it's specific. Actually, the more specific, the better. That way you can have a clear understanding of what, or the audience can have a clear understanding of what your blog is about. Keyword research. I'm going to talk about that a whole lot using all the different tools that's provided to you. Um, Google definitely has one with a Google keyword planner. Then you have some, and that's free. Then you have some of the other, which are the paid, the Ahrefs, the SEMrush, so on and so forth. Keywords everywhere is another one. You can incorporate, you want to use those to identify your keywords. Then you want to incorporate the keywords naturally into your content and improve the search engine visibility. Another thing that you want to do when creating content for your blog is you might want to create a content calendar. You want to plan out your content using a calendar. It kind of helps you stay consistent and kind of helps you stay organized with your blog, creating a content calendar. That's definitely something that could help you understanding your audience's problems. This is why I say, ask questions, identifying their challenges that they have and your content should provide solutions for those answers or solutions or answers for your audience, writing compelling headlines, craft attention, grabbing headlines, using power words and making it clear what value that you provide, that your content provide, actually. Writing compelling headlines is an art. There's actually a website. I think there's a site. There's a few sites that you can, I think, play around with compelling headlines. And then you can use things such as chat GPT and things like that as well. Write compelling headlines that can help you create content. Some of the simple things are like focusing on quality content. You're going to hear that a ton as well. Providing valuable, well-researched, original content. Your blog post should be informative and definitely you heard the word engaging. Your audience will, will definitely let you know that. Use a clear structure. Organize your content with clear structure. That's headlines. I'm sorry, the headings, the subheadings and bullet points because you want it to make it, you want to make it easier for your readers to read your content using a clear structure within the blog post. That is make sure you include visuals such as images, infographics, and videos to kind of break up the text and make your content more visually appealing. And you'll see that you go to, to our blog, the niche blog and tips blog. We do a, I think we do a pretty decent job of doing that and adding all the different things because you, we want to give you that visual approach. Optimizing for SEO. That's definitely can't do this without SEO. Learn basic SEO principles and always talk about the three sides of it. On-page SEO, the off-page SEO, the technical SEO. You want to make sure that you have a clear understanding of that. So making sure on the on-page side, look at it this way. The on-page SEO are the things you control. Off page of things you can't control. Technical, yes, you do control. Control those aspects as well. If you have self-hosted blog, include your your titles, the descriptions, and alt text for images. Ensure that your content is easily readable and relevant to your target keywords. Nope. <laughs>